Here's how to add a kit onto Altspace using Unity. All right, so the first thing you have to do is you gotta to go to this link, which you'll find in the description below. It gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use uh, Unity, the basics of Unity for Altspace. So the first thing you'll do is you'll install the Unity Hub and make sure you install the 2019.4.2 F1 and do not ever update it. If you update it, it is not going to work. Then you'll download the latest Unity uploader, which is basically where you can put alt space onto Unity. So once the kit is created, I'm then gonna go to Unity. I'm gonna go to Unity Hub. Right, then this window will open, which will say projects. You're gonna to go to this little arrow and make sure you click on 2019.4.2 F1, 3D, project name, call it what you want, and create. Give it some time to load. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to make sure alt space is uploaded. So I'll double click on the uploader and then import. We then have the Altspace VR tab available, which will go to build settings, put in your details, and then sign in. Then we can close this build settings window, and let's look for our snowman. So we're gonna go to the asset store, which you can also go to window and click asset store if it's not available in the tabs. Then we're gonna search for mobile, tick 3D, and in this case, I'm gonna go for a free asset. Then I like sorting by name, ascending, and viewing results of 96. Then let's search for our snowman. Because I've downloaded it before, it's faded in, but what you'll do is you'll click on it, and then for you, it will say download rather than import. Once you've downloaded this item, you can either import it here, or you can go to your assets by going to my assets, and then all your assets will be listed below. Then click import. Then the import Unity package window will open, which will highlight all of the things that are needed for your kit, and then click on import. Once it's imported, you're gonna to go to scene so that you can see your prefabs or your assets that you would like to add onto your scene, and then look for a funny folder, which in this case is Angry M, go to Snowman, prefabs, and then choose the snowman you want. So I want the blue one, so I'm gonna drag it up here. You can then move it towards you. You can move it up. You can move it left and right. You can zoom in with the middle mouse button. You can turn it as you wish. Then to move it to the center, I like to hold Alt and then the left mouse button and then drag it as you wish. Now we can see what we're dealing with. Now we need to improve the optimization for Alt Space. We're gonna go back to Snowman, go to Sources, Materials, I like to highlight all of the materials, shader, mobile, and then go to vertex lit, only directional lights. Go back to sources, go to meshes, click on the asset, look for mesh compression and click on medium. Then scroll down and apply. Back to sources, go to textures. Once again, highlight all of the items or the ones that you wish to use. Max size, you can choose 2048, but I like to choose 1024. And then where it says use crunch compression, tick it and make sure it's on 50 and apply. Give it time to import. Okay, now if you want to see the items of the snowman, you'll go to this little arrow, click on it so you can see what you're dealing with with the parts of the snowman. So I'm gonna click on the entire snowman. And then you can change its scarf if you want to red, so you hold it down or you can change it to yellow. I'm Greek, so I like blue. You can also go to the materials and change the materials as you wish. Then once you're done, go back to Alt Space tab, build settings, go to kit. Right, once you're on kit, paste that number that I told you when you created the kit on Alt Space and name it what you named the kit. Repeat it for the kit asset name as well. Then remember to choose the items you want to add into your kit. So I'm gonna click on Snowman. Go to Convert Game Objects to Kit Prefab. Snowman's disappeared and on the hierarchy it's disappeared. Now scroll down and make sure by platform options that Build Kit for Windows is ticked, Build Kit for Android is ticked, 
and package generator screenshots is ticked. And then load kit prefab directories. Then give it time to build the zip file that you'll need. In the meantime, I like to look for a snowman item. So I'll go to shutterstock.com, type in snowman, enter, and then I'll just save this as the screenshot I'll see on Old Space. Once the kit is built, you'll see a zip file that you'll need to drag onto Old Space. So let's go back to Old Space kit. We'll go down, click edit. By the image, you'll choose the screenshot that you wanted. So there's my snowman. Zip Unity version, make sure this is 2019.4. Then drag across the zip file right over here and update. And if it's successful, it will say kit was successfully updated. You can see your picture of your snowman. And if you want to see the artifacts that you added into your kit, you click on artifacts. And there's your snowman. Now we can go straight into Old Space. Okay, so once you're in the world, you want to place your snowman. What you'll do is you'll go to World Editor, Edit Mode, Editor Panel, Mine, Kits, look for your snowman, click on your snowman. All right, so let's turn him around. Let's move him where we want to. Okay, make sure position axis lock is on none so that when you click on the snowman, you can move him wherever you want and you can rescale it with the middle button on the mouse while holding the left button. Then switch off edit mode, close, and there is your Unity Snowman uploaded on Altspace. Hope that helped. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And in the description, you'll find the world building for Unity using Altspace.